Hello Taurus, welcome to a you and them love reading. We're going to be looking at what's going on in your connection and how you feel about each other. As always, it's a general love reading, so will not resonate with every Taurus watching. So just keep that in mind. If this doesn't resonate for you at all, then check out my playlist for Taurus. All right, let's get into this. Messages for Taurus, please. What's going on for Taurus in love? For Taurus in love. Okay, we have burning passion, passion, intimacy, chemistry. The chemistry is off the charts and then far apart, distance, separation, divide. Distance is affecting your connection. I feel like this was hot and heavy at some point. Maybe there is some sort of um, passionate connection, but there's something I feel missing here. Like there's a, a coldness. There could be some sort of separation between you and your person, despite the fact that the love and the passion is still there bottom of the deck I have mirrored souls so yeah this is a very special connection now this reading is for those of you who are already in a connection or have someone in mind so just keep that in mind let's see what else we get what else for Taurus what else do we need to know for Taurus regarding their connection all of the decks that I'm using are in the description box along with information about personal readings my book everything that you want to know is there you get number four courtship yeah I feel like there's definitely A partnership here yeah and then lovers at the bottom of the deck so I feel like this this is not a reading for I mean we'll see what comes out with the tarot but the, my an instinct here my initial thoughts are that this is a connection that's very strong um, maybe even guided maybe a soulmate connection or something like that like a past life connection um, I feel like there's a strong tie here We'll see what the tarot tells us. Tell me more about this connection spirit between Taurus and this other person. What do we need to know about this connection between Taurus and this other person. What do we need to know about this connection? What do we need to know? The Taurus. Ace of coin and then six of wands reverse. Yeah, there could have even been a long-term commitment here. or an offer something very solid but with the six of wands reverse it's almost like something must have happened here the emperor and the fool lots of aries energy here i feel like it began but it never really materialized six of swords someone could have left there may be, this might be a long-term, um, not long-term, long-distance connection. So maybe this is a connection that is existing, but there's long distance here. But I'm also picking up for some of you, someone might have left or moved. You could be dealing with an Aries. Someone with Aries in their chart. Tell me about the Six of Wands reverse. Why is the Six of Wands reverse here? Why is the Six of Wands? Ah, yeah, this is very heartbreaking, disappointment, disappointing. Sorry, I can't talk. <laughs> Tell me about the Six of Wands reverse. 
the sun. Hmm. Again, I feel like this was really good at one point. And then the Eight of Cups and then someone left. So this is a very interesting reading. I feel like this is not going to resonate with a lot of you. I mean, who knows? Maybe it will. But I feel like it's very specific. I mean, this is definitely a, a, a situation where someone has already left or had to leave, had to walk away for whatever reason. And I feel like this has already happened or is happening now. Let me see. How are you thinking or feeling about each other? Tell me more for Taurus about... What are they thinking or feeling about each other? What is Taurus thinking or feeling about this person or vice versa? Tell me about Taurus and the energy that Taurus is bringing to this Otter, okay. Young joyful, happy, go lucky energy. Maybe this person made you very happy or brought the best in you, brought the bet brought out the best in you. I'm sorry, I can't speak right now. I'm not sure why. <laughs> Tell me about Taurus's person. Well, okay, so um there might even be a um the, the in, instantly I thought there might be an age difference. This person has a lot of life experience, a lot of depth and maturity. This person is more young, light energy. Um, Taurus, I have you on this side and your person on the other, but it can be flipped. So feel free to flip it if it resonates more for you. But that's what I'm picking up uh, like right away. Um, also, this person might be wanting to, maybe there was a difference in um, how much of a commitment you wanted to make in this connection. Maybe one of you wanted something more serious than the other. Give me some insight into Taurus and their person. So, tell me more about Taurus. More about Taurus. Angel of Strength, number 50. Tell me more about this other person. Can you tell me about this other person? Anxiety. So they were worried about something. However, you're very strong. So again, I feel like they're, you're very different, you and this other person. For whatever reason, there's there's... Two, it's almost like opposites attract or something like that um, because I, I don't feel like you're in the same on the same page necessarily it's almost like um again like like this these two energies here the emperor and the fool two very um you know different energies the fool is very light and ready to just go out into the world experience life take risks take chances whereas the emperor is more wise more seasoned they've been through a lot more and so they they're heavy thinkers and strategists and you know they take their time but they do things right they're very focused on structure whereas the fool is not like that okay let me see let me grab a deck here to look at both of your energies Tell me more about Taurus and this other person. Tell me more. What do we need to know about Taurus and this person? Tell me about Taurus. What do we need to know? It could be that this is how they view you as well. Like maybe you view them as an angel of strength and they view you as a little more worried or anxious. Take it as it resonates. 
Well, there you are, Taurus, showing up to your own reading with the higher font. There's something here to do with commitment or something solid, like something very serious. Yeah, strength card, Leo energy. You okay? So this is your your energy then. You're being very strong, brave. I feel like you want to do things right, approach things in the correct way. Tell me more about the Hierophant. The Sun Reverse. Nine of Wands Reverse. Hmm. So something was very difficult. Uh, maybe there's trust issues or just a, a feeling of being tired. Wanting to give up, but staying strong despite it all. Tell me about the strength card. Let's see. I feel like I'm getting a story little by little. here. Page of Cups Reverse. Ten of Pentacles. Again with like seriousness. <laughs> Ten of Pentacles. This is usually um, a family. Some you're, I feel like you're very traditional. Or you want things done in a traditional way. Or that's your expectation. I'm really hoping that this person isn't already married. And you're thinking about that. And the fact that that's difficult. Because I do see that as well. There's some sort of disappointment here within a commitment clarity truth with the ace of swords there's something you know here maybe there's a conversation that you had with someone that wasn't an easy conversation regarding a commitment tell me about the ace of swords tell me if this is resonating for you Taurus because I feel like this is not going to resonate with a lot of people um I mean, maybe it will, but I feel like this is very specific. We'll see. Tell me about this Ace of Swords. Eight of Cups. So you want to talk about the departure that exists or is happening or is has already happened. I feel like I'm getting confirmation here. But what about your person? Tell me about the person that Taurus is dealing with spirit. What's going on with them? Temperance, Sagittarius energy, time, oh, and then the Knight of Wands, completely opposite energies there. <laughs> Some, this is someone that's charming, passionate, charismatic, bold. They take action, they like to do things. Tell me about this Knight of Wands. What's this about with the Knight of Wands? Ten of Wands reverse, Ten of Swords reverse. My goodness. So this person is, has had an end of a cycle or is considering ending a cycle. There's been some sort of ending on their end here. Eight of Swords reverse. So free of something, free of fear, free of anxiety maybe. So their fear is not holding them back if, the, if it, their fear exists in the world reverse. Interesting. So there might be a cycle that is closing, but it's not completely over. There's not a lot of the, the, the world reverse is telling me there's a delay here. Two tens reverse and the world reverse. There's definitely something happening here where someone wants to move past what has happened. But with the world reverse, there's the delay and then they have the temperance card. So maybe this is going to take more time, more effort to, to bring into balance. Let's see. What's this temperance card doing here? What's this temperance about? This one. The full reverse. Okay. Tell me more about the temperance card. 
Six of Swords again. You're both thinking about whatever departure or move this is or whatever distance this is. Page of Wands reverse. This person can't make a move right now. With the full reverse, Page of Wands reverse, something cannot get started. There's a delayed new beginning, a delayed start, possibly because it requires someone to leave a situation here. Very interesting. You both know about this. Um, if you're sitting there and you're watching this reading and you're wondering, you know, well, my person hasn't left a situation or told me they're leaving a situation or something like that, then this is in your reading because you both know. You both know about this. You have the Eight of Cups. You also know about whatever commitment situation this is, whether this is you desiring a commitment or there's a commitment that already exists. You know about that too. You have the Ace of Swords. And then they have the Six of Swords, the Full Reverse. Then I have the Fool here, the Six of Swords, and the Eight of Cups. So, you know, it's like whatever's going on between you, you know about it. Both of you. Justice at the bottom of the deck, Libra energy. So something, this could be a legal situation. Um, this could be somebody leaving a difficult situation in order to have something be fair, balanced to them. Your person's definitely um, having some sort of a, a cycle that has closed for them or that they're trying to close. Can you give me one more, please, for this person that Taurus is seen with? Ace of Pentacles. And they want to, you both have aces. There's the Ace of Pentacles here as well. So maybe this person's thinking about making some sort of an offer, or grabbing some sort of opportunity, getting some sort of opportunity started. It hasn't happened though. Oh. Okay, what is this person thinking or feeling when it comes to you, Taurus? Spirit, tell me, what is this person thinking or feeling when it comes to Taurus or this connection? Are they thinking or feeling? I need more time and you matter to me. Maybe they're worried about time. Maybe they're worried about this cycle. Bottom of the deck, you are my soulmate. Yeah, I feel like this is a very strong connection. Maybe a soulmate connection or a connection where you know, the feelings are very strong and also mutual. You both feel very strongly for one another. Let me grab one more oracle for this person. I think I have one more oracle for this person that Taurus is dealing with. Me more so, please. Give me more insight to this person that Taurus is dealing with. Lasting promise, commitment, longevity, future. This connection will stand the test of time. I'm really hoping this person isn't already in a long-term commitment, but it would not surprise me. Or this is what they want with you. I'm telling you, this concept of like commitment has come up several times here. What's this? True love. Love union coming together. The connection between you is genuine and true. Yeah, I definitely picked that up. This is, yeah, this is definitely something real, something, um with the potential of long-term, uh, something long-term, something lasting. I hope this resonated for you, even though I feel this is a very specific reading. Let me know in the comments if it did resonate. I'd love to hear from you. Uh, hit the like button and subscribe if you wanna see more videos from me. Don't forget to check out your playlist. If this did not resonate, there might be a reading there that will resonate more for you. All right, Tara gonna say all right tarot all right Taurus thank you so much for watching and take care